I, I just saw, I was watching part of the, um, I don't know if it was the Duke Boston College game where they just said he had suffered some dehydration, but I would imagine he'd be fine. And I think the tail end of uh, James Johnson's teleconference I'm on right after him, he mentioned that he, he should be okay. And I think they just, you know, I mean, probably at the end of the game, maybe he didn't hydrate properly, but usually you can turn around pretty quick from that. And I would expect him to play. Um, and he's such a focal point of their their team that uh, he's, um, I would think they got the fluids in him and he'll be ready to go for the game on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned he's a focal point. I mean, how important is he to that team? Yeah, I mean, you just look at him statistically and um, and he um, you know, he makes defenses really pay attention to him and plan and he, uh, he has the ability to basically turn games around when he gets on a roll because he can score in so many different ways that he has been important for them. But as I mentioned, I think they do have some other guys that are capable, of course. And um, But, you know, when when he's going, that makes it very hard on the defenses. How much are you guys, you know, hoping to kind of build that momentum and, and not have that let down after a big win? Yeah. You guys I think it's very important. That's why, you know, I think you really want to be resilient. And I mentioned on the teleconference, just really love the challenge or embrace the challenge of, of taking it a game at a time and knowing that, again, with a quick turnaround, playing a team, a rival game where there's going to be a lot of uh, energy and emotion in the building, um, really to establish yourself and, of course, c continue to play good ball. You know, we've had some good wins, and I think we've responded well at times. We've had some big wins and not responded well. So uh, we have the experiences of both, and, and I think at least um, that those past experiences will help us prepare for this one. I think it's fair to say it's been a little bit of an inconsistent season at times. Um, is that something you're concerned with, and is that something that you address in any way? Yeah, I think um, you know I think we've been playing some solid basketball as of late, um, but I think you know inconsistency is part of of the game. And um, with a little bit of a inexperienced team, though we're gaining experience as we're going, um, some of that stuff is to be expected. But uh, you know we talk about playing in the moment or you know, minimizing mistakes and valuing possessions and being, you know, really uh, that moment by moment kind of team. And I think that's what helps you in situations like this. But uh, you're never, you know, again, too good to not have a little lull, but that's where the balance of the team, uh, playing good defense, getting good shots, you focus on the quality side of things. And hopefully that's enough to, to handle some of the inconsistencies that you will face. Happy to be at home tomorrow or you have a loss. Yeah, no, I mean, it's always good to be back in, at JPJ. Um, the crowd gives you energy, and um, again, I think our guys will, will hopefully rally and, and need to be resilient because this will be our third game in six days, and we've done this before too, so hopefully we'll be ready to go.